Wubba lubba dub dub motherfuckers. What is going on, everyone? It is I, your boy, everyone's favorite jack of all trades, with the foul mouth. And thank you for joining in to uh, part two to the uh, Project Kennedy, the PT-109 PT boat by Ravel in 172 scale. And part one, we discussed about the the studying of instructions, the cleaning of the parts, and getting everything cleaned and trimmed up ready for painting and assembling. Now in this step, or in this part, I will show you the, that I built the base, that I assembled some of PT-109 to simplify the painting, and I also um, painted up a few bits and pieces of it. So let's go ahead and fucking get started with the shit, and I'll show you. Before I begin, I want to give a big shout out to all my fans and viewers and subscribers. Thank you for fucking watching. This is the reason why I do this fucking shit is for you guys. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now you can see here in front of me, we have the base. This was actually a very simple part of it. As you can see, it is flat black with gold trimming. The letters are done in gold and of course the badging, the logo, is done in like metallic silver, which there it is right there, it looks like a a mosquito getting ready to drop a torpedo, which I, if I remember correctly, the PT boats were also c called mosquitoes, so, anywho, I looked at the picture of the base on the box, and I thought, yeah, it's it's okay, but it's not what I wanted to do. So I took the idea, instead of doing all silver, I did the gold. I like gold. Gold's a really fucking nice color, and it stands out better. Plus, I did the badging silver, so there's three colors on the base. Now, I usually always do the fucking bases first. And so this part of the base here, that's for the bow, and that is for the stern. Also, while I was at it, I went ahead and painted the the the, um, the 20 millimeter cannon and your anti-aircraft guns. They're done and they're ready to be installed. Except I got to touch up the backs of the anti-aircraft guns where I cut them off of the sprues and got them glued together. So they are done. They're really really tiny little guns, as you can see. I mean, literally, you know, this is my fucking hand they're in and there they are and of course there's the 20 millimeter cannon small son of a bitch as well so I'll go ahead and put those out of the way let me put them out of the way over there where I can still see them like I said I glued a bunch of pieces together to simplify the painting and it was my father that actually fucking showed me this trick he said there are multiple pieces that have got to be the same color piece them together, put them together first, then you can paint them and then they'll look better in the overall. So I put together the four torpedo tubes. These are going to have to be that jungle green color like the rest of the PT-109 with silver heads, which the silver heads would indicate the tips of the torpedoes. So they are glued together, ready for paint. Um, uh, I think what else I painted. Uh, the mufflers that are on the back end of the PT boat. I went ahead and painted them. They are done. I should have painted that wheel there too. That little wheel black as well. Because that fucking wheel actually goes on the side of the um, cannon. Like so. Should have done that, but whatever. And another thing I went ahead and did put together was this little guy here. Not these three. Not the two officers and Kennedy. This man here, his arms were separate. As you can see, his arms are glued on. And he gets in place like he's sitting at the gun, which you can see in the picture there. Of course, you have Kennedy here, you have an officer here, and you have another gentleman back here manning the um, Orlick and Cannon fucking back there so that's all the four people 
And of course, the only parts for the PT109 are the three prop shafts. And they are right there. And of course, you're probably wondering where the hell the rest of the piece is at. Well, get the base right here. Alright, there we go. You're probably wondering, whoa, you put it together without painting it? I put together a lot of it without painting it, yes, and the reason why. Like I said, my father taught me the trick of simplifying a build. Now, most model builders, they would have fucking just painted everything and then pieced it together. I say, fuck that shit. I want to paint it. I'm going to piece it partly together, then paint it. The reason why I do that because it, it looks better overall. It's how I did a lot of my models like these. I pieced parts of them together, then I painted them. So, what I did... Basically, as I took, like it says, you know, in the fucking instructions, it shows the hull being attached to the, the deck. I've done that. Then you can see here the three rudders. And you can see these three brackets that hold the prop shafts and the props. I went ahead and got those in place as well so when I go ahead and paint the bottom red I'd be able to blend all that in together and of course here I put that shield on that shield the cabin hatch, the engine room hatch the control panel and the door that goes down inside the PT-109 and the two uh, rings for the gunners and I also installed these two hatch lids and that hatch as well. Those are all already glued on and installed. The only one I've not done is this one right here because the location of it, where the hell that fucker goes, it's like right in there. And it would be really hard to get my brush in there to paint that. So I'm going to paint that separately. Then I'm going to glue it down in there. So like I said, i got the top deck on. I got the control panel thing put in there. I got the, um, you know, the um, anti um, anti shell shields up. The cabin hatch on. Oh, and also got the ammo box on too. I forgot. That's actually was one of the last things you're supposed to put on uh, right here. Like I said, I'm going to simplify it. The ammo box is already on. These three hatch covers are already on. So, and of course, the, you know, the propeller shaft supports and the three rudders are on as well. And it looks like a, looks like a complete PT boat. Just needs a, just needs to have a coat of paint put on her. And that's going to be the next, the next step of the build is to make up the paint. As you can see, it actually looks pretty good on that base. It's going to look fucking awesome as hell when this thing is done. I think President Kenny would be President John F. Kennedy would be really fucking proud of this thing, I hope. I'm building as a tribute to him and to the to his crew of the this um, little ship killer. So, that's what I've gotten done so far. Quite a bit of work in a few days. Probably about two and a half, three days worth of work. So, there you have it. So, there you go. That is part two to the Project Kennedy, a.k.a. the PT-109 PT Bow by Ravel. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the fucking comment section below and I'll get back with you. And if you're new to the channel like the fucking shit I do, hit that fucking subscribe button, hit the damn notification bell, and never miss a video again. Become a member of the Commoners crew. Until next time, this is Commodore Urban. Sam Smooth Season Clears, guys. Happy sailing with all of you. God bless all of you. And take care and stay healthy and stay yourselves. Until next time, just be yourselves. So long.